welcome the second semester learners of our MBA program. You are having your marketing management course and in that course unit 11 is about customer relationship management. So I am going to present before you this uh, particular unit on customer relationship management and this unit uh, will be covered in three short videos and each video will be of about 10 minutes duration and these three videos have been prepared based on the learning objectives which are outlined at the beginning of your study material. So the first two learning objectives of this customer relationship management is to understand the meaning of customer relationship management and the second objective is to distinguish between relationship marketing versus relationship management. So dear learners, customer relationship management is very very important as far as the planning and marketing execution of marketing function is concerned. So we need to understand what this customer relationship management is all about. In the simplest terms, it is the maintaining, developing relationship with the customers. But if we go deeper into the term, if we go deeper into the concept, there are lot many aspects. So we shall try to delve into, we shall try to explain, we shall try to understand the concept of customer relationship management from the entire perspectives, in its holistic perspective. Then after having an understanding of customer relationship management, its concept, then we shall move into the second objective. The second objective is to distinguish between what is relationship marketing and relationship management, what are the basic differences. Let us try to understand the concept CRM, Customer Relationship Management. In short, it is stated as CRM. In today's context, we are talking about eCRM also in the context of the emerging importance of e-marketing. Before that, let us first try to understand the concept, Customer Relationship Management. It is an integrated approach, means it is an holistic approach. It integrates lot many components. And what are those components? It integrates the components of identifying, acquiring and maintaining customers. Dear learners, each and every word is important. What is customer relationship management? It is an integrated approach. Integrated approach of integrating what? Integrating acquisition and maintenance and identification of customers. First of all, we need to identify the customers. Who are our customers? Whether they are very important customers, very very important customers or not that important customers. Who are our priority customers? What do they need? And then after identifying our potential customers, we need to acquire them. Customer acquisition. After they are acquired, after the identification, we shall acquire the customers. After the customer acquisition, we shall have to be highly concerned about maintenance of those customers so that they do not deflect, so that our competitors do not take away our customers. So customer relationship management is the integrated approach, is the integrated process towards identification of our genuine customers, profitable customers, potential customers. After identification, we need to acquire them and after acquisition, we need to sustain the relationship. So that is the concept. So dear learners, if you are asked that what is customer relationship management, you have to say that customer relationship management is an integrated approach. It's an holistic approach. It's a process of customer acquisition, customer identification, customer acquisition and then sustaining the relationship. So it is a process which allows companies to coordinate their approach across customers, channels and departments. So these three components will make the concept far more larger, CRM, because it is not only applicable only with customers. It depends upon whom are we going to define as customers. Even our channel members, the retailers, distributors, they are also our customers. Our suppliers, they are also our customers. And within our organization, suppose our service department, pricing department, advertising department, we can consider them also as our internal customers. So customer relationship management as such will embrace all the internal departments, our channel partners, our supplier partners, 
and our customers. So CRM concept is broadened from that perspective. So what are the features of CRM? What are the its important features? CRM system consists of a historical view. Means we shall identify the customers, we shall categorize them, we shall prioritize them based on their historical experiences, based on their historical transactions, based on the, our database records as far as their purchase behavior is concerned. Then we shall, that will help us in reduce searching that who are our customers. Suppose in a, in a hotel, one uh, visitor is giving a call and the receptionist receives the call. Immediately after receiving the call, the ERM, ECRM system will give an alert that this is the call of Mr. So and So, is a, who is a, and a priority customer of the, host, the hotel. So in that case, the hotel receptionist might receive the call by name. Hello, Mr. So and So, how are you? So that is the personalized relationship and that relationship will be facilitated by the recording system, the call recording system. So in that case, it will help us in reducing the stress, reducing the anxiety of looking for the entire database of the customers, but the technology itself will facilitate us in identification of the customers. Some other features of CRM. It contains each and every bit of details of the customer. Suppose one customer is diabetic and in the last visit to our hotel, he mentioned that his food habit should be for the presence of diabetes. So we have the record. So next time when that person visits us, so we can ask the person that how are you, how are you, right? what is the condition of your diabetes, is the blood sugar is in control, would you like to have special food, like that. So that's a personalized kind of relationship which the CRM will facilitate. So it is very easy for tracking a customer accordingly and it can be used to determine which customer can be profitable. So in that case, we can easily sustain the relationship. Another feature of CRM that customers are grouped. So there could be priority customers, there could be institutional customers, there could be government customers, right? We can group the, there could be the military customers, there could be the business customers, we can group the suppose in case of airlines, they have got a frequent flyers, those who frequently fly. So we can think about grouping the customers and accordingly we can devise certain schemes and promotions. So that's why at the same time we can also categorize customers based on their location. Suppose these are the metropolitan based customers, these are the rural customers, these are the urban customers, we can categorize them. These are the customers of this particular district. These are the customers of that particular town. So accordingly, we can target those customers with the help of this ECRM packages. So then we can assign our own salespersons as account managers. That you and you, that you are Mr. So and so, you please look after the metropolitan customers. Mr. Y, you please look after the rural customers. Like that, we can categorize them. So this helps us in focusing and concentrating on every customer separately. We can think about another feature of CRM because in CRM we are extensively using technologies, information technologies. It's highly technology enabled. That's why it is very cheap and many times it is error proof provided we maintain our database well. So all the details in CRM is kept centralized. So the database is centralized. So accordingly we can have a centralized approach as far as the management of our customers are concerned. Then let us come to the other uh, objective of this particular video. That's what is the difference between relationship marketing and relationship management. You see relationship marketing is basically a functional approach as far as marketing is concerned. Whereas relationship management is an organizational approach. It will take care of all the suppliers, distributors, employees, internal departments, each and everyone who is concerned with the uh, delivery and the design of service to the customers. So if the customer is satisfied, so in that case, the organization will be benefited. So while relationship marketing is sales and marketing is basically sales and marketing related concept, but relationship management is basically organization wide. It refers to the entire tools and use carries by the organization. So some of the techniques which businesses use in relationship marketing. Suppose for the, as I have given the example, airlines industry, they have the frequent flyer discount. So this is a particular scheme for the frequent flyers, depending upon their 
tying hours with the particular airlines. Likewise, we can induce the loyalty programs in the third part of this video. We shall discuss about the customer loyalty programs. So ultimately, we can think about the individualized attention and we can expect the future needs and accordingly, suppose many of the retailers, they have the green card system, the loyalty cards. So this is what. So you can avail the discount in the next purchase or in the current purchase. So customer relationship management allows a salesperson to quickly and consistently deliver uh, the customers, what the customers are looking for with each and every interaction. So it's a continuous management of the customer service touch points so that we can record the buying history and based on the buying history, we can take about the next action. So CRM is used to describe information uh, technology systems. It's highly IT enabled and highly software designed. So depending upon the effectiveness of the software, depending upon the effectiveness of the IT devices, the CRM effectiveness will be dependent on. So it is more and more we use the sophisticated strategies for the customer relationship management, better and better will be the customer relationship management practices of our organization. And that is ultimately will benefit the entire organization. So with this, I conclude the first part of the video. I shall take up the other two videos, the subsequent part with the other learning objectives. Thank you. Thank you.